Hello and welcome to yet another 2 Minute Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about something that happens on almost every implementation. And what I mean by that is that almost every time you implement Dynamics 365, you end up renaming some of the out-of-the-box entities. Like for example, a popular one is to take the account entity and rename it to something else like companies or organizations or something like that. The idea behind it is that you're not storing just the companies that are your customers, but also prospects and vendors and partners and things like that. So because of that, you may want to rename accounts to companies. The problem is, is that if you just rename the entity from account to company, there's still a bunch of views and fields, you know, like account name and stuff and charts and dashboards and, and whatnot that all have the word account on them. So if you really want to finish the work, you not only have to rename the entity, but you have to spend time renaming every view. And imagine if you have 50 or 80 views, you have to go one by one, rename all those things. You also have to go and rename all the charts and dashboards and fields and sections on the form. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you're going to have to modify. But there's a tool on the HRM toolbox that although it wasn't created to rename entities, it can be repurposed for that. And that's the topic of today's tip. So let's start the countdown and let's go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the XRM toolbox and I'm going to search for a plugin called Easy Translator. So I'm going to open that up and I'm going to load the entities in here. I'm going to select the account entity and notice that on the right, I get an opportunity to essentially decide what I want to export and what I want to rename. Uh, maybe you want to leave them all selected, but perhaps you want to deselect, for example, the global option set since they are referenced, they might be referenced in other entities. That's the idea behind the global option set is you can add them to multiple entities. So you don't want to rename all the labels uh, on a global option set without checking first, or maybe, you know, the relationship since that is once again, reference from both sides and in two or more entities, um, you know, you might not want to modify all the relationships from account to company. So there are things that you might decide not to export, but once you have done that and you have decided if you want the names, the descriptions or both, both, you're going to export those translations and I'm going to just save it here on my desktop as account labels for now and click on save. One thing you will notice is that as soon as it's done exporting everything, it's going to ask me if I want to open the file. So I'm going to say yes. And again, it's exporting everything to Excel. It makes it super convenient. So you want to open the generated document. Yes, it opens up in Excel. And notice that every single tab down here represents one of those check boxes that, you know, we either checked or unchecked at the beginning. So once you have clicked on the first tab, we're going to move all the way to the end. In holding shift down, you want to click on the last tab to select them all, as you can see. So once you have selected all your tabs, you want to click on control H and then we're going to find and replace the word account and accounts with company and companies. Now you have to be smart about this because if you just search for the word account, you will start renaming the schema name of the account entity. So we don't want to do that. So what I want to do is I would open the more options in match case. So in this case, I'm going to pick accounts, for example, and rename that with companies. Okay. And then I'm going to click replace all notice that he made 28 replacements, but still didn't mess up the, um, the, the entity name or the schema name. Then I'm going to do the same with account and company. Okay. Just like that, replace all and still notice that the entity hasn't been, you know, modified because again, I'm matching the case. So once I'm done with that 210 replacements, I close that. I go ahead and save my file back to the XRM toolbox where now I need to switch to the import translations tab. I'm going to browse for the file, right? Account labels as I saved it and then click on import translations. Now this process can take five, 10, 15 minutes, but obviously while this doing its thing behind the scenes, you can just go ahead and continue your work or, you know, minimize it and let it work behind the scenes. So let's let it finish. Uh, it's 11, seven or 1 17 PM right now when I'm recording this, let's see when it's done and we'll be back in a second. Okay, so here we are, 1.27 p.m., so that was 10 minutes later, and the process has completed. Now, notice that I did get a couple of errors, so two errors in here, and you can open the log file and, you know, try to figure it out. Uh, notice that I got some errors when it comes to relationships and stuff, uh, but honestly, like, you can ignore those errors because 
if this thing does 99.9% .9 of the work that you need it to do, that's a huge improvement. So let's go to Dynamics 365 and find out what happens. So I'm going to open Dynamics 365 again, wherever we left it. I'm going to hit F5 in here to refresh my screen. And now that this opens up, you can already see that the entity has been renamed to companies. You can already see the view is now active companies and all of the views have been renamed with the word companies on it. So imagine taking yourself one by one having to do those. You can also see the actual forms themselves, uh, sorry, the actual fields themselves have been renamed from account name to company name, from account number to company number. So a lot of it has been already modified. Let me show the chart. So even the charts, look at this. Um, so companies by industry, uh, companies by owner, companies by territory. I mean, this thing is pretty awesome. So once again, you know, I noticed that there's a couple of things it doesn't like to do. Like, for example, this tab label right here didn't like doing that. Um, so there are a couple things you may have to do manually. But I mean... If it took you two hours to completely rename an entity from beginning to end, now that will take you only five minutes uh, or 10 minutes tops. So I hope you liked the tip this week and we'll see you next week.